Hi, in this video we're going to find a derivative. We're going to find the derivative of the sine of x over e to the x. And we're going to use the quotient rule. This is from my book Calculus Beta. So I'm going to start this problem by writing down the quotient rule. Okay, I'm going to write it, uh, let's see, let's write it down here. Let's write it down here. I'm, so it's f over g. And we want the derivative. So the derivative of a quotient is the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom 1 squared. And I'm omitting the variable here just to, for simplicity, but that is the general formula uh, for the quotient rule. So in this particular case, the top is sine x and the bottom is e to the x. So applying the quotient rule to our example, it's the derivative of the top. So the derivative of the sine function is cosine. So this will be cosine of x. times the bottom, so e to the x, minus the top, so sine x, times the derivative of the bottom. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So this will be e to the x. All of this is being divided. This entire creature is being divided by the bottom one squared. So e to the x quantity squared, okay? So like this, e to the x squared, okay? So let's just double check our work to make sure that we did it correctly. So it's the derivative of the top, which is cosine times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom and the derivative of e to the x is simply e to the x. And it's all over the bottom one squared, so e to the x quantity squared. You can write this as e to the two x, by the way, but some magic is going to happen in the next step. So I'm gonna erase the quotient rule here. And what we can do here, you might notice, is we can actually pull out or factor out an e to the x. So f prime of x is equal to, so we can pull out this e to the x, parentheses, and then we have cosine x minus sine x all over and then e to the x quantity squared. And what happens here, we lose a copy. Boom, it just goes away, cancels, right? Beautiful, it cancels. So this is equal to cosine x minus sine x, all divided by e to the x. And that, my friends, should be, should be the final answer. I'm gonna check it, because I have, I have the answers. This book has full solutions to everything. And yes, yes, it's correct. It'd be really bad if it was wrong. Like, delete the video. <laughs> so no, it's correct. I hope it's been helpful. Oh, by the way, I should mention I have books. Links in the description. Also courses. Check them out. Links in the description or on my website, mathsorcerer.com. Stay strong, my friends.